Storm Team 2 meteorologist Cameron Saliga with the Miami Valley Certified Most Accurate Forecast. Well, they're good. there is good news here as we head into autumn on Sunday. We're expected to see some chances of showers and we could even see a few inches of rainfall here over the next week as we have a couple storm systems that are going to move on through. So outside, you could definitely see the lawns do need it there on the Jeff Schmidt Auto Group camera. You can see all the yellow there on the lawns and you can see it is another sunny, hot day outside today, uh, feeling like middle of July instead of the end of September. So it is very hot out there. We will start to see that come to an end as we get into next work week. So looking at your temperatures over the next 12 hours, we will continue to be in the 90s here as we go through the next hour, potentially even into the 6 p.m. hour as well for some areas. Then we'll get to the 70s for the majority of the nighttime. We'll drop down into those upper 60s here as we go later on into those morning hours. As you can see, going through the daytime, we could see a little bit of cloud cover there early in the daytime tomorrow, but we'll see lots of sunshine through the afternoon. Temperature is expected to get pretty close to where we uh, were today, right around 91 degrees as we go to 3 p.m. You can see that lots of sunshine will be in store yet again here as we get into your Saturday. Looking at tomorrow, not everyone hits the 90s. We'll make a run at it, though. 89 in Wapakoneta, 90 in Sydney, 91 in Troy. Going further south, 91 in Dayton, 93 potentially in Oxford. So it is going to be another hot day. The record, though, is 95. So not quite near the record. Uh, a few degrees off today and looking like we'll be a few degrees off tomorrow. Now you can see some rain and some storms up to the north and west. We could see that move in as we get to right around 9, 10 p.m. So you do want to have a poncho ready just in case if you're going to be heading out tonight, especially for those football games here as they usually end right around 9, 930 and if they go longer upwards of 10 p.m. So just uh, make sure that you have a poncho at the end of the game just in case of uh, a shower or a storm. Now we do have a cold front off to the west. It does not help us though because as it does move into the Miami Valley as we go into the morning tomorrow, we will see another system as it stalls on out start to form and we'll have warm temperatures here as we go into your Saturday. And Sunday eventually though feeling uh, pretty close to normal as we get later on into next work week. So as we look at your temperatures right now, 92 and 93 in Dayton and Troy, 89 in Minster. As we track through the next couple of days, you can see that chance of a few showers here as we go to 9, 10 p.m. So again, want to have uh, anything ready for that rain. And then as we go through the uh, morning tomorrow, we could see a little bit of cloud cover, also some fog out there, lots of sunshine by the afternoon, evening hours. And then as we get into Sunday, there is a uh, chance, right? Right around a 40% chance in the afternoon that we could see some showers, maybe a rumble of thunder as well. 68 degrees is your low tonight, early showers, partly cloudy skies, could have some mostly cloudy skies at times as well. 91 through the day tomorrow, another hot day out there. And over the next seven days, we'll have multiple systems moving on through, bringing chances of some showers and thunderstorms here. Going into your Sunday, Monday looks like the best day that we could see some showers. So I know it's going to start off soggy for that work week, but we definitely do need the rain. We'll see those temperatures feeling like fall in the middle and second half of the week.